Good afternoon, everybody. And uh, Matt, let me begin with you. And on behalf of all of us at Augusta National, I'd like to welcome you back here to, uh, to our course and to our tournament. Thank you. And congratulations on your great win, Brookline, last year. And uh, welcome again. Uh, I'd like to begin by asking you a question about your, uh, your dedication to data. You, you gather a lot of data about your game, and I'm interested to know what you do with that data to prepare for a tournament like our Masters here. Yeah, um, for me, the, the big thing that I get out of it is, um, you know, certain ways to play, certain holes. Um, do I need to be more aggressive? What's the score and averages to certain pins? Um, how my dispersions kind of decide my targets when I'm when I'm hitting into the pins. Um, so that there's you know we we collect a lot of stuff and uh, I think it's very helpful for me um, in kind of organising you know what I need to practice for the upcoming tournament and um, what areas I need to concentrate on. So it all hangs together, right? Exactly. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Something like that, anyway. Uh, let me open it up to the room, please. Thank you. Hi, Matt. Um, just wondering, how would you sum up the state of your game coming into the week? It was a solid start sort of in, in Hawaii at the start of the season, but probably not the kind of form you were hoping for in most recent weeks. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a dis disappointing sort of year so far, obviously. Um, I kind of hurt my neck literally just before going to Pebble um, at the end of January there. And then uh, Riviera, the Friday, I kind of started getting like sensation down my shoulder into my chest. And then my trainer was like, we should get an MRI on that. So I went straight to um, the hospital in LA to get an MRI. And then it was like a slight disc bulge. Um, so because of that, I've, you know, for the previous three weeks I wasn't able to train in the gym as I was doing in January that kind of was all put to a stop wasn't able to continue my speed work that I've you know obviously done religiously um so that I basically ended up the, the timing of it would just kind of put me straight behind the eight ball um all of a sudden like the the work I'd done in the off season um just became non-existent I, I wasn't moving as as well as i needed to 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 swing it as well as i needed to um and it's just been kind of compounding of errors really because because of my neck then i've not been able to swing it and then my swings change kind of for compensating and um yeah it's just obviously it, it's difficult i've n never had an injury like this normally the, if my neck's kind of flared up i've been over it in two or three days and I'm back to normal. Um, obviously this one's a lot, lot, this one's been a lot longer. Um, definitely sort of feeling better now and, and getting there. Um, but I feel like, you know, certainly over the last two months I've, I've lost a lot of ground and um, definitely re regressed quite, quite a lot. So it's kind of, we're back to the bottom again and, and kind of slowly trying to build it back up. So slowly getting there but you know it's just gonna gonna take time so um but yeah and then because of that that's that's really why i've not played great uh, can i ask a follow-up um, how frustrating is that considering obviously how great 2022 was and you were looking forward to even better things in this season yeah it, it's 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 very very frustrating um i think the uh, the saving grace for me is you know i've I've got my exemptions. It's not like I need to worry or panic or try and, you know, change anything. It's it's just going back to what we were doing um, before the injury, just slowly trying to build it up and, and get better each day, really. I think um, the big thing for me is because of this whole period, you know, I've mentally I've been searching or, what you know, what is it and probably underappreciated the injury uh, as a whole. I probably completely underappreciated it, really. Um, for because I've just not been able to do it's only been the last week or two really at a stretch where I've been able to do normal stuff again and 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 train train normally so um I think that's been a, a big factor in in me you know not well yeah like I say un, underappreciating and, and the injury and, and the kind of severity that it had on, on my game really William 
Matt, prior to the injury, which obviously has been your focus since uh, the winter, but prior to that, how did winning the Open change or not change your, your life and your, and, your, and your game? Yeah, obviously it changed, changed my life massively. Um, so many different aspects. Um, you know, there's, there's more demand on my time now, um, whether it's media from like this like, you know this is my first ever press conference at the masters um apart from when i was an amateur um and then also sponsors you know they they want to use the time more um before the us open i had a lot of great sponsors and they had time in the contract that they could use and i ended up never ended up doing it they you know they they didn't kind of want to follow up on it which you know at the time for me was great so <laughs> Um, but but now you know totally understand and and you know it's not an issue at all. It's um, it's just trying to you know manage my time as as best as I can, and that's kind of that the, been the biggest change. Neil, hi Matt. Um, the weather forecasts are a bit sketchy for this week. If if it does cut up rough, how does that impact you? And do you think you're better suited being a Yorkshireman? Um, to cope with it than maybe some others? Uh, I don't necessarily think I'm better suited. I mean, I think the condition of the golf course obviously drastically changes. I imagine the sub air will be on to, to keep it as, um, as dry as possible and, and as, firm as, they can, as firm as possible. But depending on how much rain there is, it's obviously always difficult. So um, I think I look at previous performances here when it's been really really windy um really sort of cold or you know where you've kind of got to be gritty then yeah i would say that 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 definitely suits me i think just generic rain is is not really i don't know if it suits anyone really i think everyone's pretty miserable playing in that but um i don't know i wouldn't say like the the rain kind of suit, suits me in any way in particular mike Um, you mentioned that that was the first kind of proper injury that, that you've had. Obviously, mentally, given the, the time that it came at, will have been um, a bit of a challenge. Just wondered if there was anyone that you turned to um, to kind of help you with that mental side of it, maybe Billy or anybody else? Uh, definitely not Billy, because Billy was like, oh, just get on with it, you know. <laughs> so that was, uh, yeah, definitely not Billy. But... Um, no, my coach Mike Walker is, uh, has been fantastic in that. Um, I work with a psychologist as well who, in the UK, uh, Robbie Anderson, and, and he, he's been very helpful too. But Mike's been a, a big part of that. And um, he, he's not just my coach. I've been with him since I was like 14 years old. So we've obviously got a very close relationship as well. But he's very good psychologically and, and understands that. And um, I think him obviously being on the outside, he can kind of see what's going on, see how I'm dealing with things and, you know, know when to step in and kind of have a conversation, really. So uh, I think, you know, Mike, Mike's been really good for that. Um, see you. Alan, ship no? Thank you. Um, Matt, if you go back to the U.S. Open last year, that was obviously the first time the live guys and the tour loyalists mixed together. And I'm just wondering if you were privy to any frosty exchanges or awkwardness or in anything like that this week no brookline oh no no nothing nothing no, nothing how is there a different feeling in the air this week not that i know of. i've said hello to everyone it's been good to see him <laughs> you say hello back yeah absolutely yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah no i i uh, no issues uh john oh how you did the um shoulder injury um i don't know exactly um obviously i've been doing the speed training for for a long time and um the session i did before it flared up was probably three was actually three days before it did so this time i you know i wouldn't necessarily put it down to that i, I don't know if i've done something in the gym maybe um exercise wise that that kind of triggered it um i don't know if it's kind of you know it was kind of just hovering there and then something in the gym made it um come out but uh 
don't don't know what it is exactly and um you know like i say it kind of took three weeks really to really diagnose the problem just because i was i was playing and it was getting better day by day but really 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 slowly and that was kind of unusual really so uh, back to you william and then i'll come back to you I know you've discussed it before, but uh, could you just explain the origins of how, as a youngster, you got into analytics even before you had access to all the, the vast amount that's available now? Uh, yeah, I think for me, I probably um, thought it was simpler than it actually is. Um, I just got into the numbers and thought, well, okay, if I just I'm better from eight foot or if I'm better from 10 foot or if I can just hit it three foot closer, X and Y are going to happen and I'm going to be a better player. And I think I looked at it very black and white because I'm not just going to go out tomorrow and practice certain areas and they just all of a sudden get better. But I think I just really enjoyed that, that like, oh, actually, if I improve these areas, I'm going to improve as a whole. So um, I think that just you know, I, I enjoyed that. I was intrigued by it, and I think it just went went from there, really. Well, uh, Matt, I think uh, you've had three sixty sevens round here. I think uh, your best scores. When you look back at those, what's the what did you do well those days? So, what's the key to scoring around here for you? I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> you just said you write everything down. It's a long time. Yeah, it's a long time ago, but um, I can't remember when my last one was. Do you know? Second time. Second round. In Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I just remember the first round being awful, so. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I can't think of anything in particular. I think what is underrated around here is driving the ball well. Um, I think, you know, the, the fairways aren't necessarily tight, but I wouldn't necessarily say some of them are, are generous either. Um, I do think it's important to be in position off the tee. Maybe that's just me personally I don't know but I feel like that's that's a, that's a big thing that I've noticed around here when I play well is is I drive the ball very well um you know going back to the the stats approach play and short game is key you know you've got to hit it into the right spots on the green hit it close and then also when you do hit your bad shot you've got to be in the on the right side of the green the right miss is not short-sided and and then your short game comes into play so I think I think those two are the statistically the, the most important aspects of of doing well around here. If you look at the winners, they tend to be really, really good approach players and have hit the ball well into the green that week. So um, I think those are the, you know, looking at those are the most important things. Everybody's getting asked their view on the new 13th tee, so what's yours? It's great. It's fine. I don't really have a... No, it's, it's fine. You know, it's the line obviously moves further right for me. Um, if the conditions allow me to go for it, then I'll, I'll go for it. Otherwise, you know, probably be a layup and just, you know, try and make a birdie that way. Mike. Just given that it's not been, obviously, the ideal preparation for you, what does success look like at this year's Masters? Um, making a cut would be a good start, probably. <laughs> um, but I, I think, for me, that is something that I've kind of, done a little bit of work on myself to try and kind of say well you know it's early in the season this is where I'm at with my game like my expectations have got to match that you know that my expectations in previous years of throughout my whole career have been very high um, I felt given the work that I put into my game that that's kind of where I, w I want to be um, but I think for me you know I definitely feel better physically I definitely feel better mentally, I feel like my game's kind of slowly getting there, but at the same time, I'm still in an, an early kind of, effectively a, a rebuild phase of of getting stronger and swinging it better. So, um, you know, I, I just think it's trying to take it day by day and um, kind of just getting better each day. You know, that, that's kind of the, been the goal for me is just, you know, all I can do every day is, is what, you know, my coaches ask of me or what, I want to achieve that day and um, I think it's kind of just trying to keep my expectations at the, at the right level to match where I'm currently at with my game. John? Are you in any pain? Not right now. No, not right now. And when you hit the ball? No. When I hit the ball now, I'm fine. Yeah, probably for the first three weeks. I, I probably 
players was the first time that I could swing driver fully and not feel it like in my backswing or follow through. Um, everything else before that I'd have, you know, Pebble was really bad. And then Phoenix was not quite as bad, but not great. Then same with the week, the week after, just, just super slowly improving basically. Um, but yeah, now I'm, I'm in a better, better shape. Uh, okay, another question. One, yeah, one quick last one. I'll take one more. Okay, yeah. thank you. If the um, if the U.S. Open had a champions dinner, what would be on your menu? <laughs> uh, is that copyright? Or <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, I've not thought about it, Phil. People have asked me that about this place if I if I'm lucky enough to win, but uh, I said I, I'll never say until I actually do. It's like a superstition. <laughs> We'll hold you to that. <laughs> Matt, thank you very much, you. and uh, we all wish you the best of luck this week, and hopefully that recovery process from the injury continues to get better and better. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Matt.